rap episode, but ah! and we had to play a part. Wee! Wee! Harder, you push like a woman. Oh, you push like a woman. How this all started because I've seen my African cousin and I've seen you online with Scout Whisper. Give me your origin story. Um, this started, well, I originally started as a musician, but me and my friends accidentally started comedy before I got murdered. And before I got murdered, when I really started to see that comedy core in Barbados and attempted to try it, then the attempt began with it will. My name is Caesar Salad and I am the Scab Whisperer. He's <sighs> studying comedy and expressing myself through parody. There's a show called The Dog Whisperer mm -hmm. that I watch a lot and I sit and I watch a lot. I mean, tell you a lot I would binge watch The Dog Whisperer. So I decided to do a parody of The Dog Whisperer. I tell myself, Scabs, which is girls that extra, would uh -huh. be the perfect thing for me to do. Beijing GPS. Hope to get to Bank Hall St. Michael. Yeah, family. First, you can make a right, you say. You can pass three bus stops in a yellow house. Reverse back till you see a white dog with a bread, too. Make a left, reverse by the rum shop by the tree, and you bless. Thanks, GPS. It's the process of being slightly mad and being slightly normal. So when you mad, be the normal. Scary. Yeah. Seriously. That's what it works. That's how you recruit everybody. I've seen ghosts. I've seen all kind of people like, <laughs> in my own corner. Uh, I'm like, I know that body. You be like watching the video saying, but I know that body. Because these people that I frequently be around, I talk to. So if I was stuck in play, I was right to the script. I would source the guesses that make it. Okay, you know, ghosts, ghosts break down the road. They can always use ghost shots. So you use there. So that's basically working with, with, with what you have. Yeah. Cousin was my first attempt at a series. It came about when I started risking at doing skits. And my friend Robert Hood wanted to experiment with the African accent. Uh -huh. So we decided to just risk a shoot a playlist. But then I see like all kind of brand episodes. Yeah, we got about I mean, 12 episodes. You know that it stopped. Uh -huh. Even receive even better no. Just be cool. All right, I left for every sense be. Well, it's gonna basically be the like, skits that I do know, mm -hmm. but put together in a different format, like together with musical guests and what for? Like uh, Saturday Night Live. Yeah, Saturday Night Live or uh -oh. Mad TV along that same line. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna go mainstream with this, or are you gonna be able to watch it online the same way? Well, it's still working up the kinks, but it's trying to keep it. Oh, it is right now. I really want to change things too much. Nice. Yeah, but we find this because they love me fine this. Yeah, you got a lot of. They love me fine this. They love them bad. We like most about them. What does tell you? Um, does that support me? Like, for instance, like they just from London will reach out to just give me that little support. Or Boston, Boston is a big one too. Mm -hmm. I will reach out. Then got they just from New York. Like the overseas love. I mean, I get love here already, but right. you know, to see Beatrice overseas, showing love, I ain't in the island still, mm -hmm. and they feel good. So your fan base, you have the Americans, you have everybody loving yeah. you, you have the Barbadian diaspora, yeah. the Africans are in love with you as well. Mm -hmm. No, I know you just make it a thing of children. Because yeah. you're, you're famous, but you're not famous for dirtiness. Yeah. Nice. Well, I try to be a role model in a sense of because always see it when you have a huge influence, it's best to use that influence for good and try to like change the world. Mm -hmm. Understand? Not change the world, change Barbados. <laughs> change Barbados would be the better term. Right. But trying to change the world too, still. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, like, 
Hey, you look at Hope Cartel's change to Caribbean. I'm not saying that I don't like Cartel, but change it for the worse. And like, from from just looking at it from the outside, I can see that his influence not destroy the culture, but just dumb down the culture. So you want to do what? I want to. I just want people to be happy and more positive and bring back that positivity and not too much gun this and gun that and kill and set, 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 set. It's basically trying to be, they trying to show that it has the other safe and all the things. You get me? Anything that I haven't asked you that you want to talk about, you want to mention? Um, I'm going to leave you with this call for court, right? From me. Okay. <laughs> See, when things hard, I feel that nobody loves you and you're struggling. Pick a cold witch and hit a rooster with it twice and it will run in the east. I'm Rachel Gray for Culture Rocks. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.